So I take this opportunity to welcome him just to share something about this stress talks because there may be some people who would have joined for the first time. This is our seventh chapter and we try to invite those people who are either TRIS masters or who have extensively used TRIS as, uh, as a problem solving tool. Uh, there are many tools, then many benefits which we can find through TRIS implementation. So this is a forum wherein uh, the experience of the expert is being shared. And in the later half, we just have an open forum wherein you can ask your questions and you can also definitely, this is not so famous till now, unfortunately, but whatever the doubts are in the mind of the participants can be just taken care of. And I'm sure Dr. Zulhasni is capable of answering all the question. Definitely there may be some constraint of the time, but just in case some of the questions are left, we will be passing out, out, on those questions to Dr. Zulhasni and on his behalf, I assure you that he will answer all those questions. So it's over to you, Dr. Zulhasni. Uh, I request you to start with your session. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for the, the uh, moderator for uh, uh, inviting me to, to share with all the members uh, here that have a similar interest uh, in, in this so-called methodology called, called trees. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm Zulasni B. Abdurrahim. I'm um, a trees practitioner in Malaysia. Okay. And uh, I, I, I'm, to, to be frank, I'm not so expert. Okay. I just... Uh, 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 um, novice again okay, in in this uh, so-called trace methodology but uh, i'm keeping my motivation high to always uh, uh, challenge myself and also challenge the knowledge uh, the trees into uh, various uh, contexts and also application okay so uh, without further ado okay i will uh, try to uh, share my screen okay so if you have any question okay you can type in the chat box eh? So I, I will uh, look uh, here a bit and there. So if, uh, 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 if there's something that you need to clarify, then I can address it quickly. Yeah? If you type in the chat box or you can uh, hold your thoughts uh, uh, at the end of the session. Okay. So uh, regarding with uh, what you call um, this topic actually um, this is my second time okay uh, giving sharing okay so basically i will uh, share with you certain uh, similar uh, content eh, that have been discussed in the previous session okay so first of all uh, our talk here is about effective learning through this eh, in malaysia and uh, uh, i actually presented on the platform of my uh, spin-off company okay so uh, it is a company that been established from my academic uh, organization. So University Technology Malaysia, okay, have been uh, allow me to develop a, a, a private company that uh, using uh, intellectual property yeah, for commercialization, okay, and those intellectual property is founded by trees, okay. So that will be the the the, the first. Uh, quick introduction about my spin-off company because this spin-off company is the heart of my uh, trees practitioner okay in uh, various uh, engagement with the industry with other universities and uh, other organization okay and then uh, i've been uh, recognized uh, by my uh, university to set up this uh, entity okay this uh, spin-off company and try to commercialize Okay, this knowledge uh, into something that can be applied eh, in uh, industry, in uh, even in, at the national level. Okay, that will be the thing that I will uh, share with you later on. Okay, so uh, a bit of background about our uh, spin-off company. Okay, it is as founded uh, using Tris uh, methodology, and uh, on the track record eh, that we have already engaged a uh, big huge giant company yeah? okay uh, from petronas uh, umw uh, our automotive national car manufacturer uh, government agencies yeah? from science and technology uh, and so on and so forth okay so uh, in the nutshell okay what is uh, actually we are doing with this so-called spin-off company is applying trees 
in different shape and form okay to support organization especially related to uh, technology okay technology driven program okay so that will be some uh, forte okay some op big opportunity for you uh, to apply trees eh? in those uh, related program okay so um, that is big background about <laughs> about uh, the company okay so now uh, we are we are moving to the, the next section okay which is uh, about um, my journey yeah, in uh, adopting trees okay so uh, a short background about myself okay i'm a mechanical engineer okay in profession okay i've done my degree and then uh, from there actually i continue my uh, phd program okay under uh, engineering costing and also uh, trees okay so my phd is about trees eh? uh, for cost reduction on engineering design okay and then uh, my industry experience okay uh, three years eh, in a japanese uh, company okay and then uh, 11 years in automotive okay and now i think we i already reached uh, five years eh, in academic okay so my role uh, right now is a senior lecturer in university uh, at the same time uh, the ceo of the spin-off company okay so uh, in Malaysia, I've been recognized by uh, uh, subject matter expert for trees methodology. Okay, so that will be the the the, the quick background of it. Okay, so uh, I think uh, some of you uh, know what is trees. Okay, so just a quick uh, refresh eh, about trees. Okay, so Theoria Resenya is Roberta Tilskik Zadac. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not sure I pronounce it well, okay? So correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So uh, this is the, the, the things that we uh, try to understand and try to create value, okay? From uh, the knowledge that we acquire from these uh, uh, trees, okay? So in Malaysia, we call uh, Theory Penyelesaian Masalah Inventive, okay? In Malay, eh? in Malay language, okay? So, uh, I think most of you uh, know the background of Trees, okay? So, this is the founder of Trees, okay? So, uh, the, 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 the spark of Trees, okay, started when actually uh, we look into the documented technology yeah, in the pattern study, okay? So, during the observation, uh, it, it uh, created okay it create certain pattern okay of how does technology transform okay so i think this is uh, the most important part which for all of us eh, to clearly understand the methodology and we try our best to to put ourselves in the founder's shoe eh? how does uh, our great eh, uh, general outshuler able to um, have this so-called uh, thinking mechanism okay in observing uh, technology okay in uh, at that time is is a world war ii so the is a military technology okay and how does it um, uh, solved by the engineers okay and then how does it evolve okay how does it uh, improve okay uh, in terms of uh, problem solving or technology creation okay so this is the thing that uh, we try to um, actually instill in our in our in our mind okay uh, how does Altshuler think and created this uh, knowledge called trees okay and then uh, yeah this is the, the the things that we we might know that Altshuler study a lot of patterns okay and then in those pattern okay he able to categorize okay a certain uh, a few categories uh, of uh, invention okay there's uh, so, some some studies say there's five level of invention the highest level is discovery okay and there's a contradiction uh, within the uh, industry domain cross multiple disciplinary kind of industry and so on and so forth okay so this is uh, the, the the input okay for all of us okay to, to actually uh, understand uh, how does uh, this uh, element 
of technology transformation, technology innovation, able to improve the methodology or the process of problem solving. Okay, so I'll surely mention that you can wait 100 years for alignment or you can solve problem in 15 minutes using 40 inventing principle. Okay, so uh, for the first time when I uh, read those statement, okay, it sounds like uh, overclaim, uh, okay, overclaim, eh? okay, because uh, this kind of uh, uh, problem that Altshuler mentioned is a technical problem, okay, it's an engineering problem. Eh? So uh, before I learned trees, okay, when it comes to uh, engineering problem, it takes uh, so many weeks eh, for engineers to figure it out, the root cause, uh, the solution, and so on and so forth. Okay? But when I read this statement, uh, okay, it's, a, it's a very challenging statement, eh? not just for me, but also for all of us. Eh? Okay? How does this, um, this concept okay, able to, to accelerate problem solving? Okay, okay. Using the abstraction of uh, understanding related to um, uh, what they call technological systems and so on and so forth. Okay. So this actually trigger me. Okay, because it sounds like overclaim. So let's I I I, I take this challenge. Okay, and uh, I I try to uh, test. Eh? I try to test this uh, after I've learned from from. Um, from certification and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, I think this is a, a generic understanding eh, about what actually uh, Altshuler highlighted eh, when it comes to trees. Okay. So problem and solution are repeated across industry and science. Okay. Pattern of uh, technical evolution is also repeated. Okay. When you can see the the trend. Okay. Is um, moving from one level to another level to one form to another form. Okay. And uh, innovation comes outside the original uh, domain of your knowledge. Okay, so basically, that uh, these three element, okay, is a very interesting uh, postulate. Okay, it's a very interesting statement. Okay, uh, because uh, uh, if you able to capture the repetition of problem, okay, meaning that your problem is uh, not not something new. Okay. It could be that somebody have already faced those problem, uh, and it repeated with us and also for all of for all of us. Okay, so when we first engage with the problem, we think that this is the problem that the first time that we engage with that problem. Okay, but uh, for for the for the statement number one, it is actually focused on the database. Okay, the database of problem and solution which is uh, very important, okay? It is well documented uh, in the form of pattern, okay? And then we try to capture the concept. There is some similarity and there is some difference, okay? And those kind of database, when we try to synthesize those data, it helps us to uh, capture the concept faster and try to adopt it faster, okay? Uh, on the second uh, statement, uh, we, we know that uh, Altshuler developed uh, the so-called trend of uh, engineering system evolution. Okay, so uh, in the different school of thought, they have a different kind of uh, name, eh? but the concept is actually the, the progression of uh, system development or system evolution. Okay, it's somehow uh, very powerful. Okay, because it has an element of a predictive element, okay? So if you capture a, this moment with a certain uh, characteristic of technology, you can go at the next level or you can jump into uh, a different level of evolution, okay? And the third part is actually uh, also very, very interesting statement, okay? Uh, me, myself, as a mechanical engineer, okay? When it comes to chemical engineering problem, electronic engineering problem, okay, uh, it is uh, giving me some some uh, barrier, okay, because it's not actually my expertise, okay. So can I involve, okay, as a problem solver, not as an expert, but as a problem solver, okay. So these are the mechanism 
that uh, uh, trees have as a systematic kind of innovation that are able to empower problem solver okay to become more um, more knowledgeable eh, in the in the process of problem solving okay not the the domain of the the, the problem okay but the process of problem solving okay so this is uh, actually uh, i try to challenge all of these three statements okay in my journey towards uh, adopting trees okay uh short background about my credential okay i'm level three so, so i'm very new okay so i i, I maybe uh, somebody uh, in our audience here are uh, uh, our trees master eh? okay so uh if I make mistakes, eh, please highlight and uh, I, I, I do apologize in advance eh, if I uh, give some, uh, <laughs> what do you call, uh, uh, misrepresentation of a certain uh, knowledge. Okay. So uh, I have uh, certified in 2016 and uh, I have uh, learned uh, a, a, a bunch of tools eh, uh, according to the uh, matrix uh, program. Okay. So this is uh, my, my, my scope lah, for uh, problem solving, okay? So, um, so we, we will go through a bit about this kind of journey, okay? So what happening before I've been introduced in trees, what happening when I start to learn trees, and what actually happened after I've uh, adopting trees in my uh career and also in my uh learning path okay uh let me check if there is any question all right no question okay so i can continue okay let me know if you have uh, any question you can just type in the chat box huh? okay thank you very much so uh before i've uh, learned trees okay uh i've worked uh, as a as a young engineer okay uh, we uh, learn uh, so many things eh, in uh, universities or in uh, learning institute. Okay, so uh, uh, that I've learned a lot of theoretical element. Okay, and then throughout my end of uh, uh, learning, okay, I believe that I good uh, I will get a good job. Okay, I will use all of the knowledge that I've learned in the university. Uh, I get the better position. Okay, I've, I've, I will do, I will, uh, my, my career is 100% related to what I'm, uh, the program that I take in university. Okay, so that is the ideal mentality that I have. Okay, uh, however, when I step into the real world, it is uh, totally different. Okay, from what I've expected in the ideal concept of um, uh, industry. Okay and also a different uh, perspective when I, I uh, the knowledge that I acquire from university, okay? So the real world that I've uh, involved so far uh, as a mold designer, that is my first uh, job, uh, okay? And then uh, work in the production executive, okay? In manufacturing and move towards um, become an engineer, automotive engineer, okay? So uh, the real world, okay, involve a lot of problem solving, okay. The ideal world, my my career do not have uh, involved in any type of problem solving. I just design, I just analyze, and so on and so forth. Okay, the theoretical world, okay, doesn't teach me, okay, how to solve technical engineering problem. Okay, meaning that in the university, okay, there is no subject specific, okay that uh, teach you how to solve problem, okay? But once I take a step uh, in the in the industry, okay? It's all about the, the, the problem solving, okay? A bit about what I've learned in the university, like fluid mechanics and not use anymore, uh, static dynamic and so on and so forth. Eh? It is more towards day-to-day uh, -day operation problem solving, okay? So that is uh, the, 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 the initial situation that I've experienced when I joined in, uh, industry, okay? And then uh, during uh, my first experience in problem solving, 
it is more towards try and error okay even in a local malaysian co uh, company or japanese cultured company or a western kind of a, a culture company okay so try and error is a dominant okay uh, problem solving process okay for most of the organization here in malaysia okay why because uh, of course it is easy and simple eh? okay you just throw whatever um, idea that you have okay you try it and it's fail and then you throw it again so the cycle is repeating until you reach the uh, the, the best uh, effective solution okay so uh, and also uh, in malaysia okay the the most dominant okay concept of uh, problem solving or improvement is uh, the japanese kaizen okay that is the most popular uh, not just in the industry but also in the government sector okay so uh, this is the thing eh? when we try to understand problem solving okay it is different okay from the operation level from the middle level and also from the top management level okay so this is a is a is, is a real uh, challenge eh? because uh, for top management they don't care much they, they 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 don't care what tool do you use okay uh, 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 they just want to uh, save costs, okay, reduce time, uh, bring profit. That's all, okay. Reduce tax, okay. <laughs> so that's all. Uh, that that is what actually in the mind of the management, okay. In the mineral management, okay, they will use a certain tool, okay. They will focus on performance, okay, of an industry, uh, and uh, they do a lot of planning and do do a lot of. Um, managing okay uh, in the operation in the shop floor okay it is where actually the works uh, started okay the problem is in the operation level and uh, people that want to solve the problem uh, doing in the office okay not doing in the shop floor okay so all of this um, culture of problem solving uh, is very very challenging eh, uh, to 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 adopt okay um, and then, uh, like I say uh, before, that uh, in Malaysia they, they use a lot of kaizen, okay, continuous improvement. Why? Okay, because uh, in Malaysia is uh, uh, the core of uh, industry is manufacturing. Okay, we have a lot of uh, sectors uh, in manufacturing, so most of the problem solving is focused on process problem solving okay process problem solving okay they are looking for productivity in the process they are looking for cost reduction in the process okay uh, so they will adopt uh, these so called tools okay that is uh, popular in uh, malaysia okay for the past 20 years uh, with uh, just in time which is process uh, tpm uh, maintenance is about process okay uh, zero defect is about quality, okay, uh, and uh, so on and so forth, okay. So they adopt this uh, Kaizen philosophy in whatever uh, problem that they have, mostly in process, but sometimes, okay, in the context of product uh, or technology uh, based problem, they also use Kaizen, okay. Uh, however, this kind of practices doesn't work. Okay, uh, it is not effective to use uh, process uh, problem solving in the product or technology problem solving. Okay, so there is another uh, type of um, uh, philosophy in Japan called kai kaku. Okay, kai kaku is about destructive innovation. Okay, so kai kaku is not so popular as kaizen. Okay because it involves a higher level and upstream kind of innovation okay which big corporation do not share okay because it's confidential it's at a strategic level okay so we cannot share 
this kind of methodology or this kind of uh, example to the public okay so uh, if you go to toyota okay, they will um, happy to share with you about kaizen the, they show you the process how they they adopt and successful okay but when it comes to technological or product strategy okay the kaikaku part is not well shared okay so this is another um, issue that uh, facing in malaysia okay we are very good in productivity okay but once we want to go to innovation we do not have a good tool okay uh, to support uh, the nation okay for example okay uh, this is uh, the, the 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 relationship eh, between uh, process based uh, process problem solving using kaizen and also uh, product or technology based uh, problem solving okay so uh, to define a problem i, I think um, kaizen have a lot of very good tools in analyzing the problem is also very good okay they have six sigma okay uh, and uh, they measure okay the, the the data that they have they have collected in the process okay they see the what you call common cause eh, special cause and so on and so forth which is very very strong and very very good okay but once they identify the root cause of the problem the ideation the uh, solution development it's very weak okay the only tool in kaizen that is a uh, uh, very popular use okay is brainstorming okay brainstorming okay so that is the the, the common thing for ideation okay uh, and there is other tools like uh, design thinking which is uh, popular in certain area of application okay but uh, not actually in the manufacturing sector okay most of it is uh, brainstorming okay but they are not adopting the 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 the, the correct brainstorming kind of protocol okay they use it as they like okay and then uh, on the kaizen tool okay try to improve try to control okay they are very good okay they are very good uh, like uh, statistical process control okay there's a there's a very good tools uh, that uh, coming from kaizen okay so we can see here the weakest part is actually on the ideation if you have a bad of a fail idea it will produce a failure at the end of the uh, problem solving okay uh, so this is uh, why actually um, it is uh, motivate me okay to explore more about uh, trees okay so uh, i've uh, i further my study in phd okay and then uh, i've been pushed okay by my supervisor okay to adopt new methodology beside kaizen okay because uh, in in research eh, kaizen quality management and so on and so forth is a saturated topic okay there's a lot of uh, studies done okay but uh, when come to trees okay is a, is a new green field eh, okay so um, at, at this point uh, i've been um, uh, assigned to uh, do a cost reduction, engineering cost reduction, okay? So I need to come up with um, a framework, okay? Try to reduce uh, the engineering cost of a, of a car, okay? So this is my, my, my um, uh, first step eh, on uh, doing research. Eh? So when I do a lot of research, I've came across with this word, eh? concept, model, framework, methodology, tools, and technique, okay? So there's so many things eh, uh, for me to, to, to research about, okay? And when I try to look into 
uh, the Kaizen methodology. Okay. So I understand that uh, Kaizen as a philosophy have a, a, a few models under this uh, philosophy. Okay. House of quality, quality management system, Toyota production system. Okay. And then there's a the framework uh, uh, like plan, do, check, action, uh, DFMBA, uh, DMAC, Six Sigma, and so on and so forth. Okay. And below this framework, there's a tool. Okay. Like uh, Ishikawa diagram, Pareto, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, and then this tool has been used in uh, various uh, approach, a uh, various strategy, which comes with a special technique. Okay. So this is the, the breakdown that I've, uh, I've uh, uh, extracted eh, from the Kaizen methodology. Okay. So right now, I want to impose okay, trees methodology uh, into this kind of um, structure okay, and try to work out what will be the, 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 the things that is not really, uh, the things that become a potential for me to uh, work on my uh, PhD research. Okay. And then uh, we try to understand that uh, those, uh, Dr. Sir, I would like to uh, comment something like yeah, uh, sure. people out here today are more interested in the academic application of uh, threads. So okay. while you are uh, deliberating this, can you just give some examples on how these were used in uh, implementation of uh, threads in academics, particularly in Malaysia? And I see one question also in the chat box. If you can just uh, read it or should I read it for you? Yeah, sure, please. I'll read it. Uh, Mr. Joseph is asking that doctor in Malaysia is this introduced in university engineering colleges. If yes, what are the challenges you faced for that? And if not introduced, what is the plan for introducing? So I'm, I know it well that it is implemented right from school. So we would be very keen in uh, listening to your experiences while implementation of this in academics. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, let, let me quickly address uh, those uh, questions. Eh? Okay. Uh, in Malaysia, okay, w our strategy is actually to introduce trees in uh, university level first. Okay. University level. So uh, in the university level, okay, it is uh, uh, focusing on the skill of problem solving. So it is not actually specific for engineering or technical institute. Okay. It could be uh, engineering and also non-engineering institute. Okay, so we actually uh, open up uh, the, the 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 scope of um, problem solving in uh, engineering and non-engineering uh, focus uh, group uh, in various uh, academic institute. Okay, that is number one. Okay. Uh, and also uh, the the okay if yes what are the challenges uh, okay so the challenges is actually uh, the complexity of trees <laughs> okay uh, the complexity of trees eh? so uh, trees uh, when we learn uh, directly uh, from from uh, I think uh, from the school of thought uh, of Altshuler okay. Uh, there is a level of complexity compared to other type of problem solving tools. Okay. Like I show you here, like I show you in the, in the slide. Eh? So when we use Kaizen, which is non trees, okay. The tool is very straightforward. Okay. And this tool is not, uh, uh, technical or engineering, not, not engineering, eh? but mathematical kind of application. You can see histogram is about data calculation on the graph. Okay. You can see uh, Pareto is also uh, uh, related to data calculation, statistical process control, scattered diagram and so on and so forth. Okay. So this is the, the, the common uh, problem solving tool used in uh, engineering. Okay. But trees comes uh, with uh, engineering contradiction okay technical contradiction okay uh, engineering parameter and so on and so forth okay 
if you try to look go through the 40 inventive principle there is some complexity in understanding there's some uh, terminology that is um, uh, quite difficult to 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 quickly understand okay you need to bit of uh, study so that is to understand and try to apply those uh, systematic approach it also require a change of mindset okay so uh, uh, let me uh, okay uh, when it comes to um, trees okay they try we try to uh, embed it okay we try to embed those mechanism in the subject okay for example okay in uh, in uh, what you call uh, engineering subject okay there could be a a, 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 a a task for the student to solve a problem okay so if we give the problem to the to the student okay they do not have a procedure okay they do not have procedure to solve those problem okay maybe they just follow according to the subject requirement and so on so forth okay so trees able to assist them okay in the context of a uh, process okay how they understand the system what is the super system what is the subsystem what is the function and so on and so forth then you will apply whatever uh, subject or uh, whatever knowledge that you learn in that particular engineering subject okay so the framework of problem solving need to be embedded in each of the subject related to problem solving lah okay so when i also meet a uh, experienced engineer okay when i when we we introduce um, so called like function analysis or functionality okay of system okay they will struggle even though they are uh, what do you call highly experienced engineer okay they will struggle to change the mindset okay uh, for them to understand the the the, the functionality of of a system okay so trees is a tool okay but the way you use those tool you need a set of framework okay for example okay uh, we need uh, this is uh, the, the 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 framework uh, of problem solving from design thinking okay when you receive those problem okay we need to diverge okay we need to have a diversion of uh, understanding the issue okay in this context okay we what are the tools what are the three tool that is suitable for this activity okay so in my uh, practice okay in teaching a uh, student we will use function analysis okay function analysis is converting detail so called visualized problem into more abstract okay boxes arrow function harmful insufficient so they converting those uh, on site problem into abstract form of problem okay that is diverging okay and then once you develop the function model okay you try to uh, find the root cause so you are di converging okay in finding the uh, the 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 main advantages or the the root cause okay so you will use uh, cost effect chain analysis and so on and so forth okay so that is the next tool okay once you find the the root cause you need to diverge okay then you 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 can see the the concept of 40 inventive principle okay they use a, a, a conceptual principle okay like merging is a broad definition eh? is a broad concept uh, prior anti action okay uh, and apa, uh, what do you call uh, those terminology in 40 inventive principle is actually diverging concept okay and from this 40 inventive principle okay the recommended from the contradiction matrix or any uh, 
uh, inventing principle that been identified, okay, you need to apply, okay, you try to realize those concepts into the solution. So you need to converge back, okay. So this framework is not, is very important for you to introduce to the student, okay, as a, it's a problem solving process framework. And trees is a part of this, is the, 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 the tools for each of the uh, activities. Uh, okay. So this is how I, 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 I use the, the, the trees uh, in, in this. Without the framework, uh, okay, without the process of problem solving, the framework of problem solving, for example, engineering contradiction. Engineering contradiction, as we learn, is actually in the middle of problem solving process. Okay, we actually identify the uh, contradicting parameter. Okay, so what happened before we we reach into the engineering contradiction? It's actually uh, not explicitly uh, provide to you. Okay. How do you understand the situation of the problem? Uh, uh, where, why, who, when is not actually there. Okay. So you need to get the context of problem and then you will use engineering contradiction to uh, be more specific. Okay. And then after you develop uh, your solution from the in uh, 40 inventive principle there's also uh, nothing there okay so how actually you want to convert those inventive principle in to apply in your problem there's also a, 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 a need for us to be more specific how to transform how to apply those 40 inventive principle okay we need to know the mechanism okay so that is why actually uh, trees uh, require some complement with other type of uh, uh, knowledge eh, in 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 problem solving uh, okay so i hope that answer the question okay before right. uh, okay. Uh, professor this takes me to another question like yeah, i sure. mentioned that there is a contradiction and we know this is very good at uh, resolving the contradictions so uh, is there any contradiction which you face during implementation of this uh, thrills in uh, academics that uh, we know like uh, most of the time covering the portion of the curriculum itself is a big challenge and adding a new subject into that so how do you look at thrills as a new subject is it an additional subject or it is a backbone of all the subjects which we learn please throw some light on this okay so uh, I, I skip a few slides and I just focusing on uh, uh, the question. Eh? Okay. So um, for your information, okay, trees have been uh, introduced in our uh, national textbook, uh, apa? Um, national curriculum. Okay. Uh, and uh, starting in 2018. Okay. So there is a subject that uh, introduced by the ministry of education called design and technology okay so in this design and technology okay for form two okay uh secondary school okay the first chapter of the textbook is about trees okay so we need to know uh, how does it come into the picture okay so first of all, is actually the, the government, uh, the Ministry of Education is actually looking for a problem solving tool. Okay. Like I mentioned earlier, the, the common problem solving tool like um, uh, Kaizen or design thinking and so on and so forth. It is not so technical. Okay. Uh, and uh, when you try to involve technology, okay, you need uh, a set of uh, problem solving tool that uh, really uh, provide an effective understanding about technology 
how to solve problem or how to innovate okay so with this kind of spirit okay that the government have okay they introduce they take up a very small portion okay of three stool okay even they try to tone it down okay for the school uh, student to adopt a certain level of concept okay like i mentioned before trees is a complex tool of problem solving okay compared to other type of tools eh? like kaizen and so on and so forth okay and when you try to use this tool which is complex but the 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 contradiction is complex but effective okay so we need to address this complexity okay the complexity of the nature of this uh tree stool okay because we need to make sure that whatever uh, mechanism that tree stool have okay do not dilute okay do not trade off okay with the effectiveness of the problem solving uh, okay so this is the core challenge in introducing trees okay some uh, school of thought uh, do not agree eh? they against uh, you to temper the the mechanism of trees okay they don't allow that eh? maybe it is is a, is this coming originally from altshuler okay so if you try to change it or try to dilute it or try to temper with it okay it is uh, not really recommended okay uh, but when it comes to getting uh, your your student to understand okay you need to make uh, the the tools okay uh, separate into a, a few levels of understanding right? step by step okay so this is uh, actually my challenge eh? okay when we try to when they they invite me to to introduce trees okay into this subject okay and uh, how do you embed it okay you are not taking trees engineering contradiction and you pop put it uh, like that okay you need to develop okay the the understanding of the concept okay why engineering contradiction okay we know that engineering contradiction have two contradicting parameter okay why two in, in uh, <laughs> why there is a two uh, contradicting parameter okay okay so for for student that uh, uh, at the lower level at the beginner level okay we need to build up the concept step by step okay before it able to be fully understand and fully apply those so-called uh, physical contradiction, engineering contradiction, faulty inventive principle, and so on and so forth. Okay, so so it, it is that 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 kind of strategy eh, that actually uh, we try to apply in our um, education uh, syllabus. Any question? Hope they answer the question. <laughs> That's really very great and uh, very thoughtful as well, because uh, students, uh, when they learn it at an early age, they are able to implement it by the time they reach to their uh, college. So, may I know, like uh, 2018, you started it, right? So, did these students come to university and uh, you could make some difference between these and other students who have not learned this at an early age? How do you like compare them? Okay. So uh, when we try, uh, uh, like I uh, explained before this, that this is actually the, the, the form two where actually we introduce the concept, okay? Uh, and then in the, in the form three of secondary school, it is where actually they use the tool, okay? First introduce in form two and then use in form three, okay? So in form three, okay? they uh, embedded those mechanism of problem solving in various uh, domain of knowledge eh? 
for example aquaponic for example uh, mechanical uh, system for example electronic system for example robotic system okay so trees is actually a, a, a what do you call a tool for them to guide to assist them and how actually to create innovation okay that is the 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 the, the purpose eh, uh, on uh, introducing trees okay and once uh, i think uh, after form 3 they will go through uh, several stream okay of um, uh, knowledge either they, they will take a science stream or non science stream okay so this can be continued in the science stream okay i'll show you one example okay let me show you where is it uh we do a bit of um case study yeah? okay so we uh, push uh, uh, we introduce trees in the group of student in 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 uh, malaysia i'm not sure it is uh, able to open up the video maybe not yeah i think something wrong with the uh video okay it's no worries okay you can go to facebook okay and uh, you can see the video eh? uh, we actually introduce eh, the trees to the to the group of uh, pilot program eh? special school eh? called mrsm okay so there is a uh, four school of mrsm is a very established renowned school okay uh, where actually we actually certified this is the youngest okay youngest uh, trees level one participant in malaysia okay uh, form form two and form three okay and then from there actually they able to win uh, uh, what you call innovation competition okay so in 2016 okay when we do a pilot program okay uh, the student won a national innovation award okay when they translated uh, the the innovation process okay using trees okay and then um, this student continue to university level okay and uh, they he receive another extension of grant okay uh, try to develop the system for the industry okay so i also a part of uh, this project okay uh i think uh, before pandemic eh? before pandemic we develop a prototype develop an iot system okay and then those system is been uh, presented to industry eh? for 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 commercialization okay so this is actually the outcome eh? okay that when we empower younger generation student okay and the know-how okay of innovation they able to perform uh, when they been given an opportunity like what we have in this slide. So hope that answered the question. Yes, you answered it well, and uh, the results are also very impressive. So, and like, uh, what 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 are now the future plans of uh, like taking the trees ahead in particularly academics? Okay, so. Um, when you talk about academics, okay, so once uh, actually we introduce uh, 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 trees in uh, various, uh, what you call, um, level of education. Eh? We have uh, uh, secondary school, we have diploma, okay. So on the diploma uh, level is uh, focusing on uh, capstone project, okay, uh, final year project, which is also apply in uh, degree level okay so it is a backbone for their problem solving uh, skill eh? uh, when they use trees with a, a systematic approach uh, with a certain protocol and so on so forth okay so and uh, for non-engineering okay there's also a, a broad kind of concept eh? 
for us to use trees in non-engineering. Okay. Uh, for example, we I think all of us know that uh, trees can can apply in non-engineering uh, areas like business and so on and so forth. Okay. So I also challenge myself in the industry. Okay. Can trees apply outside the engineering or technical areas? Eh? And uh, I, we we have done a few projects eh, in in my industry years. Eh? Okay. So this is the thing that actually uh, uh, strengthen our understanding of trees and strengthen our belief okay that trees able to solve problem okay uh, better than any other tool eh? okay so this is also overclaim eh? but um, trees cannot stand alone okay that is is my point of view okay you cannot use trees as a stand alone tool okay it is value added Okay, for you to embed it or integrate this tool with other problem solving tools. Okay. So when we try to uh, introduce trees at the academic level, okay, so I started with a few elements of trees concept in certain subject, okay, which is uh, five years ago. Okay. And now the university, okay actually have a very specific subject okay three problem solving course okay that carry three credit eh, which actually develop um, recognition by the university by the top management that this three is important for the engineers for the graduates and also for the researcher okay but it takes time. It took me five years. Okay. And we show them a small win. We show them a small success from the uh, diploma student, from the degree student, from the master student. And when we try to introduce trees at the PhD level, okay, uh, the best way uh, for you to adopt trees in your research is through complement. Okay, uh, the theory of problem solving with other theory. Okay, so you can complement other type of knowledge, body of knowledge at the philosophy level, at the model level, at the framework level, tools and even technique level. Okay, this is the opportunity for uh, us who are looking for a research area uh, that we can relate to trees. Okay. Once you do that, okay, uh, you can, uh, first of all, it's actually a, 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 a green area, okay, uh, because uh, it's still um, not so many people uh, are able to do that, okay. And then once you do that, okay, you have the advantages for novel novelty of your research. So hope that answered the question. Yes, Professor. Uh, Okay, there are a couple of questions from Mr. Ahmed, but I am afraid we do not have enough time. And second thing is that uh, not everyone in this gathering are experts in this. Most of them are uh, either just learning or are inquisitive and uh, like wondering what this is. So, uh, Mr. Ahmed, uh, I have noted your question and definitely will get, get back to you and give your specific answers. Till then, uh, Professor, I would request you to give a word of wisdom from your side or word of experience from your side, how academicians should or must use this in their curriculum and uh, the teaching learning process. We have one minute to go or two minutes. We can have one or two minutes extra. All right. Thank you very a much. Quick answer would help. Okay. So I think uh, a very good motivation coming from uh, World Economic Forum, okay, that mentioned that the future generation, okay, uh, needs complex problem solving skill, okay, which is I think the the the, the first or the second level of skill that uh, really critical for our younger generation, okay. So it is uh, our opportunity when we learn trees, okay, we try our best, okay to actually share 
and uh, uh, from uh, in our syllabus and uh, try to create the so-called innovation, the generation with uh, innovation, innovative thinking, okay, while using trees, okay. So there is no excuse for innovation when you learn trees. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor, for being with us and thanks all the participants for sparing your precious time and uh, we hope that uh, it was worth of that time. And uh, in case, uh, yeah, of course, time is always limited, but in case you have any other question, you can just post it to info at threesasia.com and we'll pass it on to Dr. Dulasni and he'll be always ready to answer your questions. Uh, as we have, uh, we have been doing it, we'll be continuing with our Thris talks and next month on the 26th of August, again, we'll be coming back. We have a format wherein every last Friday of the month, we have some or other expert or practitioner to have interaction with you all. And uh, the time remains same 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks for being with us. Have a great time ahead. Once again, thank you so much, Dr. Zulazni, for being with us. And we'll keep on bothering you. Thanks. Thank you. Have a great day. Again. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant afternoon, evening. <laughs> okay. Thank you.